Guys, gals, ladies, and gentlemen, welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. I'm your host, of course, Liquid Hotshot. Hope everyone's doing well today. I'd just like to get all of the, um, you know, YouTube stuff that every every YouTuber says at the start of the video. Thank you for the all the spot. Uh, it's actually been quite crazy to see, uh, personally, uh, how much support you guys are showing uh, since I've come back from my break. And it means the absolute... Well, to me, again, we've got people joining uh, the channel and becoming subscribers every single day. So, again, if you're not a subscriber, feel free to press the big red button down below. And with all that being said, let's give Arthur a little bit of a trim. Um, want him to keep his goatee. He's got a bit of he's got a bit of chop hair, um, but we will go ahead shave that off. Nailed it, and then we can promade the hair, but. I don't really think that's necessary right now because it's the same standard haircut. So we might have a look at changing that uh, in a couple of episodes time. And uh, obviously we've got this lovely little hat uh, covering it all up. But we look more goatee-ish. Anyway, we're going to be going over to the Grey's place today. Uh, doing that mission finally. That's the next mission we need to do to technically progress the story. Um, so I think, so I think this, um, Karen fishing mission is going to pass after I do this, after I do this mission at the Greys. Um, but hey ho, but yeah, no, this is a new outfit I bought before the start of the last episode. Like, um, I wanted, like, ages ago I saved a guy from a bear trap. And whilst I was in, um strawberry he was there outside the general store and he's like oh you can you can get something for free just go on my credit so i bought this outfit so i'm a fan i bought the i bought the coat additionally the coat didn't go with it um but yeah i guess let's let's get on go towards the greys and uh, have some fun today Also, if you want to see more daily content, please, please, please hit that like button down below. Um, it's been crazy. Almost every video now is getting upwards of two to three likes. Um, and for, for a channel my size, that's pretty good. And it's getting that within, you know, the, uh, the first, first day. And uh, yeah, you guys are enjoying the content. I can see that through the analytics. So again, can't thank you guys enough. But yeah, like I say... If you want if you want me to keep doing daily uploads keep the spot coming i will happily oblige yeah red dead music eh so i don't know exactly what this mission is i can't quite remember um obviously i've slept since the last episode and um i've sl I've, I've slept a lot of times since my last playthrough uh, so it might come back to me because I completely forgot that there was a, a bank in Valentine. Like I, I had no clue, um, and I was just unaware that there was a bank there and there was actually a, like sort of like a heist mission basically. Some stranger missions here in um, Rhodes as well, which we can look to complete sooner or later. <laughs> But not right now, I'll tell you that much. But yeah, nice little gallop through the countryside. Can't complain at that. And uh, this is the uh, Grace Place. Right down here. Hear the gray plantation? Yep. Callagher Hall. Sheriff's orders. You wanted me to have a word with some folk on the property. I'm recently deputized, you see. Deputized? And I suppose Lee was drunk when he did it? Look, you can come in, but you ain't talking with me. Obliged. Okay, okay then. 
not that tough for security. I reckon Arthur's quick hand ability could have uh, could have got him sorted there. Am I going round here? Maybe I've gone too far. I was hoping you'd talk a moment. I'm a student of the history of the region, and... Uh... I ain't the one to speak to. Try Master Bo. Think he's down there by the wood store. Boy's got all the time in the world. Thank you, kind sir. You were a bit rude, though. Just saying. As I was, uh, choking on coffee. So, we're gonna go and speak to Bo. He's down in this early direction. Are you the guy? I assume so, right? You are. Huh. I'll see you at the sheriff's office. Excuse me, friend. We friends? Not yet, but he is hoping. I guess. We don't get a lot of traveling men here. And suddenly, there's a whole phalanx of mysterious but strangely helpful Yankees about the place. Is there? What are you doing here? I was just looking for work. Well, looking for something. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. What secret? I got a secret of my own. Are you secretly normal? Excuse me? Never mind. <laughs> the thing is, I don't care if you kill the whole lot of us and the Braithwaites. I don't want to kill anyone. I love her, you know. Love who? Penelope. But it's impossible. Well, love tends to be complicated. She's a Braithwaite. I'm Bo Gray, son of Tavish Gray, nephew of Lee Gray, the sheriff, grandson of old Murdo Gray. We Grays have been loyal to the state and murderers to the Braithwaites for so long now, no one can even quite explain why. Beyond blind loyalty and stupidity, I'm supposed to be loyal to some nonsense while she... She's amazing. She's... Like a woman from the future. She's like tomorrow, if tomorrow turns out fine. Well, I'm sorry for your predicament. Would you help? I don't want to get involved. <laughs> Gang feuds, it seems unseemly. I'll pay. I've got money. We grays, we've always got money. No brains mind but money. Well, in that case. I know she loves to sit out in the gazebo on the edge of the Braithwaite property. Take her this letter and this bracelet, please. Is my oh, look okay? Out for their guards. They're worse with strangers than ours are. So my horse has all of a sudden so gone all the way over here. So uh, that's a thing. So we're doing errands for the son of Mr. Gray. How convenient! All right, sneak into the grounds around the Braithwaite Manor. I can do that. I'm sneaky, like a snake. I should really appreciate you taking those to her. Yeah, I, I, I will appreciate the pay paycheck, dude. Hey, you better follow that order, right? Right. Let's let's move like hot potatoes. Like my horse has got fire on its car. There, I would assume. Some bulls. Just 
Scooper. Okay, so what are we looking at here? We need to get to Penelope. Honestly, I've never been a fan of stealth missions in Rockstar games, but if this one goes well, then can't particularly complain. It's very convenient that it's misty out. Using the uh, foliage, the uh, tree garden thingy, apple orchard. Words, Luke. Go straight through the middle. Oh, he's coming back. Oh, that's a lot of guards. That's that's a lot of guards. Um, he's coming this way. You don't see me. I'm invisible. So invisible, you can't see me. Even though you're wiping your face off, I wouldn't do that if I were you. Right, let's head this way and then left of this barn. Go! Oh, do we get to do some hardcore parkour? Oh, lovely stuff. Watch this. Hardcore parkour! Ha! Nailed it. Sneaky, sneaky. They didn't even see, they didn't even see me coming. <clears throat> First guards got nothing on me. I am I am silent like a mouse. And uh, she's there. This is water. I will be wet if I go in it. Oof. So we'll go. We'll just get the shoes dirty. Give me a cutscene, please. Give me a cutscene. Oh, yeah. Looks like it's cutscene time. Let's go, baby. Are you Penelope Braithwaite? Why, well, yes, I am. I've got a letter for you. Oh. And a gift. <laughs> a letter and a gift. Well, we don't even know each other. <laughs> well, it's not from me. It's from... Uh... From Bo. <gasps> oh... He is so... Strange. <laughs> yes, he's strange. a little strange, but oh. also so human. The rest of our families are stuck in the Dark Ages, or, well, I don't know, cave people, perhaps. Bo's different, but if they find out, they'll kill him and send me to live someplace awful, like Ohio. Have you ever been to Ohio, sir? No. Well, neither have I, but... My uncle has a factory there. He was sort of the black sheep on account of having left. But now they tolerate him because he's a vicious snob. <laughs> How convenient. Families are, are, they're something else. <laughs> you got a family, sir? No, not really. Well, they tolerate him because of the money. But me, with my ideas above my station, they can't stand. That sounds pretty complicated, uh... I don't know quite what to say. Well, nothing to say, except I hope they all rot. I don't. Uh, well, maybe a bit. But here, if you see Bo again, will you give this to him? Post sure. my pop. <laughs> Leave the area without being seen. Okay. So, let me just quickly have a look at the Mampium. Uh, same sort of layout, uh, but there's no point me going the way I came because there's more guards there now. So what I could do is whistle the horse, come down this road, and just come, like, down here. Um, like that. I'll, I'll just put a marker there for the time being. Just so I know where about some heading. I'm gonna hope that my horse doesn't um, ruin this mission for me because it might. But we're gonna try this together. We're a team, you and I, guys. 
Me and you. You watching right now at home. We're a team. Yo, Two man team. Right, come on, Ricky Bobby. Ah, uh, drive out the wind. Nailed it, dude. I am so good at this game. You guys may as well just give me, like, the platinum trophy right now, dude. Alright, so let me quickly get rid of this marker because it will do my head in. Uh, not cinematic. Uh, okay. Remove the marker. And then we need to go back and give the letter back to Bo. I guess we can just do that because it's... If it's the course of true love number three, then it will be the last one, right? And there's no other main missions to do, so... I mean... Why not? <laughs> right, let's get it. <clears throat> Come on, Ricky Bobby. That's also another thing. It seems like we've got so much money, we've got almost four grand. We could invest in a new horse. Keep Ricky out like a stables yeah. or something. For all time's sake. And if we do end up getting a horse... I will be happy taking suggestions from you guys in the comment section down below. So, um, if you want to suggest a name for a future horse, um, feel free to let me know. Okay, so yep. it's very dry and desolate down here in regards to, like, weather. All these fields are like, what would you Jeez, call this? This whoa. is like dry. It's like dried up. It's kind of like a drought, but hmm, I don't know what to call it. There's probably a, a technical term for that, but the plants aren't growing because there's not enough water, so it's a drought, basically. Well, it's probably another word. Cannot use weapons whilst in roads. I am well aware. Thank you very much, kind sire. Shots fired. You stay off our land, goddamn uh, goes for you, sons of bitches! Get back here and face us like a man, you coward! Goddamn great weights sneaking about here! How are we you leave me alone? Oh, forget it. He's gone. Ah, oh, relax. I'm just messing with you. Damn jackass. Okay. They really don't like people messing in within their business of the breakfast, honestly. Okay, well, we're back at Callagher Hall. Yeah, because, like, even here, it's still, like, whatever these guys are growing... <clears throat> as well like you can see here like literally here like the grass isn't growing in some areas and like here it's just terrible the the leaves are yellow suggesting that they're being burnt without water the, you know because they don't have remember me water. i'm working for the grays now all right come on thank you wait yeah, may as well go around. Sorry, boys. <clears throat> Do a U-turn when possible. Nailed it. Right, we will we will just trot. Uh, we'll trot to Bo. Why not, right? You, you've got a broken fence there, boys. You might want to fix that, dude. If you don't fix it, dude, you, you're not going to have a part of the fence there. Boom, nailed it. Makes sense. <laughs> like, I'm, I, I still like my um, my volcanic... Is it my volcanic? Is it called a volcanic pistol? Yeah, probably is. I'd, I can't have a look, though, because, you know, no weapons and stuff. That's the thing. 
And then four should be right around here, homie. Oh, he's in there. Okay, well, I guess I could put my horse in the stable. Why not, right? Give me a bit of shelter from this dust. You got my money? Sure. Did she give anything? For me? Yes. Might I have it? Sure. But it'll cost you. Ah, <sighs> uh, I can't be bothered. Here, take it. Oh, thank you, Arthur. You'll... Thank you. My God. What a woman. She's... This'll get her killed, for sure. What? Women's suffrage. Around here, they don't even like men voting. They'd bring back the monarchy, given half the chance. Progress is a dirty word in these parts. Unlike incest. Excuse me? I don't want to marry my cousin Matilda. I want to marry Penelope. But they're gonna... They'll kill her at one of those rallies they're holding. They've done it before. Mister, you gotta help. No, I'm afraid I don't want no part of it. I'll pay. My family, we've still got some money. Fine. Just no more running around with letters. Thank you. Come on. We better get going. Okay, so women's suffrage. I got twelve dollars, dude. That's like that's Back like up, Amazon right. Prime. You love to see that. Come on! Come on! Yeah. Don't worry, pal. Don't worry. We'll go around the property and take the road to town. <laughs> Come on, is your horse not as quick as Ricky Bobby, dude? Easy, boy. Calm down. I can't be calm. If we don't get there in time, my true love may be shot. If she wants to rally, you gotta let her rally. Well, good as the cause is, I can't let her become a martyr to it. I, I want to marry a flesh and blood woman, not a statue in her honor. I'm sure they know what they're doing. There, there they are. Ladies, Bo, what are you doing here? I cannot let you go through with this. You'll be killed. I'm prepared to die for the cause, Bo. You know that. Do something, please! Do what? Fight this mob? We must begin. They need me alive. This is no laughing matter, sir. They need protecting from certain elements. Mostly my family. Penelope, I beg you. I'll tell you what. Your friend here can drive the wagon for us. It'll allow us to shout all the louder. Hooray! Sure. Miss Calhoun! Miss Calhoun! My friend here says he can drive the wagon. Well, Olive Calhoun! Normally I like to drive myself, but today I feel like a man joining us sends the right message. Well, I ain't never been in a protest march before, madam. Well, just treat us like the sheep and the folks attacking us like the wolves, and I'm sure you'll feel right at home. Shall we go? <laughs> All right, ladies, we know our song is a good one, mm -hmm. and we know our cause is a pure one. Yes, ma'am. Let liberty reign. <laughs> we're mothers, wives, housekeepers, and daughters. We cook the food and we now, fetch now. the water. Now, now, take us down Main Street, right through tea. town to the steps of the Banker Road, Mr. Lord, what was your name? Arthur Morgan. Very good, Mr. Morgan. Not too quick, and not too slow. We need them to hear our voice. Well, they'll hear it all right. Very good, very good. Mr. Morgan, are you an old friend of the movement? I'm just a driver, Mrs. Calhoun. Maybe a shotgun messenger if it comes to it. I hope it won't. Well, our message will be delivered peaceably, Mr. Morgan. You can keep your shotgun to yourself. 
Stay on Main Street. Uh, it's a left up here, Mr. Morgan. Look at these people. It's about to get exciting. I can feel it. I believe you might be right. Good day, Sheriff. I just shall make sure it's a peaceful assembly. You sorry fool. Mr. Morgan, I give you the male of the species. Yeah, that's a pretty dumb specimen, I grant. Almost there. Take us just a little further, please. This spot is fine, sir. Ladies! Get your hands! Come on! Go home! Shut your mouth! What are you doing? Hell is going on! Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. well, this is a great day for all of us. Yeah. Oh. For today is the day we begin to live as equals. Equals? Ah. Ah. Yes, equals, sir. Fair and equal. This is unnatural. This is nonsense. Yeah. Yeah. Equal and free, just as the Founding Fathers intended. Oh, yeah. Founding Fathers, oh. not Founding Mothers, you hey, silly old goat. Ah. 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 His philosophy dependent hey. on biology. Sir? What the hell are you doing here, boy? Keep your voice down. I'm trying to listen to the speech. Hello, darling cousin. Don't you ever speak to me like that. What are you doing here? Listening. I suppose. Go help Bo. His cousin is a moron. Stop them from ruining the speech. You need to learn yourself some manners, cousin. Haven't you got anything better to do? Oh, you always was. Bo, weren't we just leaving? Well, who the hell is this? Follow me, Ron. What? You'll hit me? Come on. Sir, can you not see how idiotic you are? Come on, Bo. Let's go. Quick now. We gotta go before they think twice. Oh, Lord. Follow me. I know a place. It's an old battlefield no one goes to. Not the future. A land of equality. A land Come on, boy. We don't have all the air, bud. Look at the beautiful land we I'm just ready for the wood. Kiai. You don't want to go back and hear the speeches? I ain't voted before, but kind of getting hot for voting rights. I don't know whether to take you seriously, Mr. Morgan. My cousins are my primary concern right now. If everyone knows about Penelope and me... <sighs> everyone knows about Penelope and you. I know about Penelope and you, and I've been here all of ten minutes. The sooner it's out, the sooner it's resolved. The sooner it's dealt with, you mean. We're dealt with. Our families, the Greys and the Braithwaites, we bury our secrets, and we bury them deep. Your secrets and your treasure. You know, Catherine Braithwaite's got a daughter. No one's seen her in years. She were right, you know, and Penelope said... Uh, I, I ain't heard about daughters. I heard about gold. But Yankee gold? I fear that's just a story, Mr. Morgan. But I don't know. This is awful. Nobody died. Ain't that awful. My cousins are vindictive bastards. My brothers are vindictive bastards. My cousins are worse. They started it. I know, but... You should leave. I will, as soon as I have enough money. When my family... We have money, but I don't. Is your family very rich? Yes. Well, I believe so. But, uh... They keep me out of the discussions. I have more of a artistic temperament, so... Oh, is that what they call it? Yes. Oh, you made a joke. <laughs> I really love her. I do. Well, stick around. Maybe you can die for her as well. I thought you were trying to make me feel better. Look, I gotta go. Me too. Oh, damn! I'm gonna be late. My uncle is quite as bad as you would imagine. Oh, here, your payment. Thank you. Excuse me. Do that, boy. Ride safe, my guy. 
$30. We're rich, ladies and gentlemen. The cost of true love. We got gold on that one. Damn. Um, <clears throat> complete within 4 minutes and 15 seconds? Well, how do you do, do you do? We love getting gold medals in Red Dead, but that's going to be it for today's episode, guys. As you can see, a yellow mission has just popped up on the minimap there. Uh, be fine behind the uh, temporary horse sign but yeah if you guys have liked today's video please do drop it a like down below subscribe if you're new and uh, feel free to leave a comment as well with a potential new horse name uh, if we do end up getting a new horse but with all that being said guys sorry this was a little bit longer but uh yeah hope you enjoy see you later guys